7 Ways to Make Sure Your Smoothie Isn't 1000 Calories You're smart enough to know that store-bought smoothies can be sugar bombs in disguise, but you'd never make those mistakes at home, right? Brace yourself for some tough love, because it's super easy to overdo it when you're tossing things into a blender, even when those things are power foods like whey protein and nut butter. Us because you call it a smoothie doesn't automatically make it a great choice, says Lisa DeFazio, RD, author of the forthcoming Women's Health Big Book of Smoothies and Soups out November 8, wherever books are sold. Oating up on the wrong ingredients can shock you with a 12,000 calorie drink. The first rule of living that smoothie life, measure everything. DeFazio notes that lots of blender pitchers have measurements etched right on them. Beyond that, these seven rules will show you how to keep your cup in check, don't start with juice, even 100% fruit juice, says DeFazio. Adding whole fruit to your blend will net you more fiber. Better choices, coconut water full of electrolytes or milk dairy or non-dairy. And speaking of dairy, even though whole milk is making a healthy comeback, a smoothie isn't the best place for it. We don't need it for thickness or satiating fat, which you can get from other. Better sources, says DeFazio. Using 2% milk saves you about 25 calories and 6 grams of fat per cup. Greek yogurt, nuts, or powder egg sure your smoothie has one, but only one. Along with fat, protein helps blunt the effects of fast digesting carbs and sugar so your smoothie is satisfying for longer, but oddying on it is one of the easiest ways to rack up extra calories. Things like chia seeds and ground flax are great, but again, think small. A teaspoon is usually plenty and will still be packed with omega-3s. It's a total rookie move to only use berries and bananas. Smoothies can be a great way to get your veg on, and leafy greens won't even affect the taste. Aim for a cup and a half of produce total. Oh, and frozen fruit does work best, but if you only have canned, make sure it's packed in water, not heavy syrup aka sugar. Rethink the way you eat with Women's Health The Body Clock Diet. You don't need sugary ingredients or flavored milks or yogurts to add flavor. Just use what DeFazio calls smoothie condiments cinnamon, turmeric, and cacao nibs, to name a few. They add nutritional perks along with calorie-free flavor. Cacao nibs are chocolate in its least processed form, and a great way to get your fix without sugar, she says. Most of the time you won't need added sweeteners either. If you do, use honey or real maple syrup bonus B vitamins and potassium. One of the great things about smoothies is how versatile they are. Hey make as great an on-the-go breakfast as they do a post-workout snack. But if they're truly replacing a meal, you want a total of around 300 to 500 calories. This number is for an adult woman who is trying to lose weight. You can go up to 500 if you're not but only 150 to 200 calories for a snack. And cooked oats can be a great way to add some whole grain carbs and thicken up your breakfast cup, but don't use instant oats, which are usually more processed and often contain added sugar.